We are the bays, inlets, rivers, lakes, and streams. Our people originate from the seven southernmost watersheds of the Puget Sound known to us as the Salish Sea. We are of the Sukub people. Stupchus. Squawksud. Tapiqu. Sud. Squawish. Dah. Cha cha ash. A huge people. We are the people of the water. We have been here since time immemorial. In the early 1700s, we had first contact with the British Navy. By the 1800s, the Louisiana Purchase made way for the westward expansion. Gold fever brought many greedy settlers into our territory. Missionaries, the military, squatters, prospectors, miners, timber interests, stockmen, and railroad companies all vied for the land in our territory, shrugging aside any native claims to it. The Homestead Act of 1862 increased westward expansion of immigrants, promising free land to any who would settle here. But it wasn't free. We lived here. The settlers fought against us and removed us to an island we called Squawksud. In 1854, we were made to sign the Medicine Creek Treaty, which ceded 2.5 million acres of land to the new nation and bounded all our seven bands in one location and under one name, the Squaxin Island Tribe. <laughs> Oh, uh, 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 uh. 
people say it was the time the world turned upside down. We were forced to live on Squawksud. Bounties were placed on our lives. $200 per head, which compares to thousands of dollars today. We were even shot at if we left. The Indian wars that followed exiled us to the island, a concentration camp for a once free people. But exile offered some protection. It offered a place to live unfettered in community as we always had. It offered a place for us to practice our culture. It offered access to our traditional foods, such as fish and clams that were bountiful on the shores. Our place, our sacred relationship to the land and waters is an important part of our way of life. This relationship to our natural resource is the foundation of our cultural identity. It has been built since time immemorial, founded on the teachings of our ancestors. Recognizing the land, waters, plants, trees, and all species of animals equally as Siaya or all my relations. Our people teach us to respect and appreciate our environment. They say, take care of it, because it will take care of you. We lived for a while on the island, but yet we yearn to be back in our traditional homelands. The deer and elk and other food sources soon became scarce. There was no fresh water on the island. We knew we had to return to our rivers, our lifeblood. We had to return to the mainland. Island is quiet today. No one lives there anymore. The modern world pulled many of our people into the cities to find work, to get a different type of education, to marry, to build up our nation with economic development, environmental restoration, and cultural revival. From our island prison, we returned to the mainland to fight for our inherent rights as a sovereign people. But this time, we fought in the American courts. The 1960s brought the fish wars our people enforcing their treaty rights to hunt, fish, and gather in their usual and accustomed places were met with backlash. Our people were arrested for living how they have always have lived, fishing, hunting, and gathering as they always have done since time immemorial. Land was ceded, but ceding our land did not mean that we gave away our rights to it. We reserved our ancestral rights to harvest salmon, hunt and gather natural resources for as long as the rivers run, the grass grows, and the sun rises. Finally, in 1974, the bold decision, a United States Supreme Court ruling, affirmed Washington State tribe's right to half of the harvestal salmon and established the Squaxin Island tribe as a co-manager of Washington Fisheries. We now support salmon rebuilding efforts and we are active in watershed management to combat the many years of degradation by settler mismanagement and degradation of natural salmon habitat. The island is quiet most days. 
but is filled with laughter and celebration when we return to dig for clams or cast nets for salmon or to hunt deer. We remember the teachings of our ancestors and honor them with ceremony. We paddle our canoes from shore to shore, just as our ancestors did many years ago. Connecting an unbroken tie to the land has kept us and blessed us for many thousands of years. The island is the heart of the people, a symbol of strength and resilience that beckons us towards a prosperous future and reminds us and everyone that we are still here. Hey!